The pledge evening taking place here in Park Station, and I have here beside me Mrs. Christian, who is the founder of Sisterhood. Let us hear what she has to say. Mrs. Christian, good evening. How are you? Very happy. Thank you. Mrs. Christian, as the founder of the Sisterhood and the V Woman, I would like to find out what motivated you to start the group. Women. <laughs> How the society and the world has has been degrading women uh, from all ages, but beginning with the young women. And that made me be, be, be very frustrated for many months, asking God for an inspiration to do something about it, because I knew uh, an, a way out, and I didn't know how to reach out to these young women. So God gave me this idea of the sisterhood at first. None of you women came later. later. But uh, he gave me this idea. And he has, he has so much soul. It's from God that he has worked all over the world. Uh, we began in Texas. And now we are spread everywhere. We are here in South Africa now. And the work works. I mean, the, the group works. The, the girls have found what I have. What God has given me, they have now, and that's that makes me very happy, you know, because I I can see that women are changing. Maybe few now, but as the group grows, we're going to reach out to many other women. Uh, Mrs. Christian, today it's this great graduation, very spectacular. I want to find out how do you feel being in South Africa, your presence. Very happy, very happy. The the women here are beautiful. They've been, they've been through a lot, and I think they deserve a group like this, a group that values them, that sees their potential, that puts them high as they, they should be. So South Africa is a great place to have the sisterhood, and the women are enjoying, and I enjoy that. That's it. That was Mrs. Christiane giving her talk on sisterhood and view women. This is Diketo Machele reporting from Park Station. young and educated, climbing the corporate ladder, worried about taking care of yourself, and now potentially also a husband, a home, and children. So to me, this is a problem that many young women in our society are facing. That's actually true. Young people today don't believe that they can be the classic woman. Mm -hmm. They think it's something that was for their grandmothers. So they always talk about how hectic their lives are. Yes, but we have seen it happen, and we believe it is possible. We have here tonight the presence of a woman who is a wife, a mother, a companion, a servant. And through her commitment with God, she is a mother to nations. She is our spiritual mother, Mrs. Estea Macedo. And we also have the presence, who is a daughter, a sister, a wife, a mother, a pioneer, a book writer, the founder of Godly Wood Worldwide, but above all, my, 
she is a friend. I would like you to help me to welcome Mrs. Cristiane Cardoso, who will inspire us tonight. Please. Good evening, everyone. So the difference of the women in the Bible, of other women that live in the same time, was that these women, they believed. Sarah, one day she believed. When she finally believed, she became a mother of many nations. All the women that you, that you saw here, their pictures, me, one day I believed. One day I believed, and when I believed, God then made his reality true. 